The next is lack of originality, and this is also the problem with hero stories. We go Googling for stories, and people have heard these things a million times. We've all heard this, right? Thomas Edison didn't actually invent the light bulb. He worked on the light bulb, and he perfected uh, other people's technology and created a, a more viable uh, commercial application of the light bulb, right? Hundreds of thousands of Google hits. Uh, we've heard these stories before. Uh, there is a uh, infamous story in the speaking business that everybody can relate to. It's the famous starfish story. Uh, I'm not going to do it. Only if we have time will I regale you with my really sardonic version of the uh, starfish story. If you hadn't heard it, it is the type of story that you would find embroidered on needlepoint and framed in your uh, Aunt Mildred, Mildred's bathroom. Kind of treacly. The other problem with Googling for stories is very often it's fake news. For many years, consultants regaled audiences with the story of those hapless idiots at General Motors who named a car the Chevy Nova, which as we all know in Espanol, that's Spanish to you and me, means no go, right? And it was flopped in Latin America. True or false? False. False. An English speaker, speaker may look at the word Nova and think, oh, no go, but no native Spanish speaker would look at Nova, the word, and think, no go. Uh, languages aren't always that literal of a translation. Translation. The same goes for Abe Lincoln. We all know this, right? He just hastily sketched out the Gettysburg Address on the back of an envelope in a train ride up to the ceremony. False. Even honest Abe, a great orator, had to put in the work, like the rest of us, on practicing and preparing and composing and editing and all the other things. So, look to everyday life. Stories are all around us, in the workplace, at the gym, at the grocery store, in traffic. These are the kind of relatable stories uh, that work, that help people connect with you.